Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys some very important tips on how to find profitable products for wholesaling on Amazon. Also, at the end of this video, I'll be actually showing you guys a website that I just came across not too long ago that actually shares and has a bunch of brands and a bunch of categories for wholesaling to buy and sell on Amazon. So be sure you guys stay tuned until the end as I'll be revealing that website all the way at the end of my video. But guys, once again, Bashar get to hear Amazon MBA seller and mentor. Um, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a few tips that are very important to finding profitable products for wholesaling on Amazon. Um, also, if this is your first time to my channel, be sure to subscribe and let me know if there's any questions you guys may have for me. I post daily videos about Amazon MBA and other topics when requested. Also, on Sundays, I'm actually doing something a little bit different where I actually, you know, go about... Um, you know, sometimes, you know, how to make money online, you know, other ways aside from selling on Amazon, um, like last week was about how to make a YouTube channel and just kind of different topics here and there. So if there is any specific topic as one to include in next Sunday's video, please drop it in the comments below. Also, just kind of let me know where you are in the process. What concept are you really looking into? So my main, you know, concentration of this channel is on uh, private labeling and FBA. However, I've also, um, you know, I have a library about arbitrage. This whole week, I am actually talking about wholesaling because I've had many of my uh, followers and subscribers inquire about that topic. So I am doing, you know, the whole week just pretty much talking about wholesaling. So a few tips that are very important for you when you are in your in the process of going out there and finding suppliers and finding products is really contacting those suppliers and the whole transition and the whole transaction between you and the supplier you know that's very important when it comes to finding profitable products for wholesaling because here's the thing we are in this business to making profits so whether you find 50 different you know brands or 50 different products that are not going to make you any money or lose money or make very little it really doesn't exactly matter what do you find right it's all about finding profitable products. That is the main keyword, profits, right? So one of the main things that everybody needs to understand that with wholesaling, number one, it is a volume business, right? So unlike private labeling or even arbitrage, when you're looking at 40, you know, or 30, 40, 50% margins even, with wholesaling, we're looking at, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20% margins. However, we are doing, you know, larger volumes. And because we are selling larger volumes, we have to buy in larger volumes, you know. And the good thing about wholesaling is that you can actually, once you find one good product, you know, that ranks well, that does well, you can actually reorder from the same supplier, unlike arbitrage. You know, let's say you find a good product. You know, you only found at Walmart.com or at Target, you know, down the street from your house. You found 10, 15, 20 units, maybe drove to other targets and found, you know, another 20, 30 units. Once those 30, 40, 50 units run out, you're pretty much done. You got to go to the next product. With the wholesaling, however, you find a supplier or you find a distributor or the actual brand you can, you know, actually directly contact. You can reorder from them, you know, on and on and on and on, which is the good thing about it, right? So that's one of the most important things. However, it's all about creating that relationship with your distributors, creating that friendship with your, you know, sales people, salesmen, saleswomen, you know. Uh, one of the main things that I always suggest is, you know, create uh, uh, like a personal touch. So I know that a lot of times, you know, everything we do is online. Everything we do is via email. You know, maybe pick up the phone from time to time and actually call these people and, and place your order all, uh, uh, over the phone, you know. Maybe take uh, somebody out, take your uh, salesman out sometimes to lunch or dinner or something like that, you know, or send them a, a gift card or, or, or a nice, you know, uh, like if it's a, a woman and it's her birthday or something like that, maybe send her a, a bouquet of flowers. Just kind of some, you know, personal touch like that will come a long way. Also, number two and very important, you need to always ask for discounts, guys. Here's the thing. These guys are trying to make money. 
and the higher price they can sell to you, the bigger commission they make because the more money their companies make. So they're always going to try high, right? And even higher than what they're willing to go down to. So you need to start a lot lower than where you would want to settle, right? So always asking for discounts and don't worry about asking 10, 15, 20, 30, even 40% discounts, you know, just because somebody gave you and said, maybe this is my price and this is exactly what I, uh, you know, can offer and that's about it. doesn't mean anything. doesn't mean you just take it and walk, you know, you have to, as I told you, you know, point number one, we are in this business to making profits. So it doesn't matter if you found 10 or 15 or 30 products, if you're not going to make any profits, then it's just not a good deal, you know? So you need to understand, always ask for discounts, okay? No matter what the answer is. And even if they come back and say, okay, here's what I can do, I'll discount at 10%. 10%. Always go back and say, well, what if, you know, let's say if, instead of ordering 500 units, what if I order 600 units, you know? Always approach them in the, you know, with the understanding that you are a big baller, you're a big timer, you know, you've been in the business for a while, which is why in my previous videos about um, wholesaling, I was mentioning that you need to create a business, you know, email address, you need to, to have a business address, you know, you need to have a legitimate website, you know, your company needs to sound legitimate, you need to look and sound legitimate. That way, when you actually contact these people for the first time and you're talking big game, they can believe you somehow, you know. Maybe you're just a, you know, a good talker, you know. But you need to present yourself as you're a big timer. You're going to be ordering all the time. You know, always say that I'm paying in full. Try not to ask for a credit at least the first time or two. Uh, that kind of gives them the, the, uh, the uh, idea and the, the thought that, hey, he actually can, you know, do this, right? This is somebody that we can trust. Do let them understand that, hey, look, I'm here to stay with you long term. You know, this is just the first shipment. You know, pay cash or pay, you know, pay in full all the time. You know, number three, pay in full all the time. At least the first couple of times when you are trying to create a, a relationship with a supplier or with a distributor. Number four, try to go to the brand themselves. Although sometimes that may mean that you may need to order more because when you know when distributors are ordering from the actual manufacturer these distributors are distributing to tens if not hundreds of accounts right of little accounts like you and others and me and others you know but when you go and try to approach the brand you know you they might have a, a you know minimum quantity order of of i don't know a few thousand you know what i mean so you need to be ready to do that maybe it's a just a very hot item and you're getting a really good price from the um from the uh distributor and uh, or i mean from the brand itself so you're just going to go ahead and cut the middleman cut the distributor so number four if you can cut the distributor then go ahead and go to the brand if you can afford it number five making sure that you are not ordering a whole lot of um units of one product try to diversify you know don't put all your eggs in one basket although some products may be just hot and you may be getting very good deals if ordering bigger quantities but at least in the beginning, try to have more than one product or 10 products or 20 products. The more you have, the better it is, the more sales you're bringing in, you know? It, I mean, what good does it make if you have a 1,000 units of a product that only sells 200 units a month, and you have five months with a supplier sitting, and instead of going and, and maybe ordering, you know, 200, maybe two months worth of, uh, you know, product, that way you can get a cheaper price, but then investing the remaining of the money somewhere else, <clears throat> But make sure you are paying in full in the beginning, at least the first couple orders. So number one, making sure that you're asking for discounts. Number two, making sure that you are creating a relationship with your, um, you know, with your salesman. <clears throat> number three, making sure that you are always, always, always asking for discounts and trying to order in big quantity and 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 you know show yourself as you are somebody a big timer. You're actually you know ordering. You're going to be ordering a lot, right? And then uh, number four, uh, making sure or trying to cut the middle person, middleman, and try to go directly to the brand. And number five, you know, making sure that you are paying in full, at least in the beginning, and do not and try to diversify and not put all your baskets in one, uh, or not your basket in one egg, but not all your eggs in one basket. Okay, so that's kind of you know a few tips that are very important when you are trying to start your wholesaling business and you need to understand that this is a volume you know business you know so the more you order 
the better it is that you look. And once again, I just need you guys to really understand this. Always ask for discounts. And number six, and very important, and one of the last tips in this video, you need to be able to walk away from bad deals. Once again, going back to number one, it's all about profits. We're here to making money. So if a product just doesn't make sense, if you're not going to be making money, then walk away. It's okay to walk away from 10 products and only go with two instead of having 12 products that just don't sell and don't make you money. You have all the headache. You may be, you know, having a couple of assistances or even, you know, having a warehouse and employees and rent and all that and electricity and water and blah, 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 internet and your computers and, and you know, your own expenses and you're not really making mo any money or your margins are very little, you know, all the stress and all the management, you know. So you'd rather have little products that make you more money than having too many products that just don't go anywhere. You know what I mean? I mean, if they are, if there's 5, 10, 20% you're making in each, you know, unit you're selling, that's okay, you know, but if your profits are very minimal, then you just want to be able to walk away. That way you're also, you know, showing your distributors that you are actually somebody they want to mess around with. They want to actually deal with because you know your stuff. And if it's not going to make sense, you know, it's just not going to make sense. Also, one more thing I wanted to add, so do your research, you know. Find different distributors and different suppliers that will and have that product that will actually, you know, work with you and try to pretty much battle them against each other. So get a quote from here, get a quote from here, get a quote from here and be like, hey, look, look what this guy gave me. Beat it. You know, I want to deal with you. And it's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get from this guy. I'm going to get 200 units from there, 500 units from there. And instead, why don't you give me the better price, you know, and, and don't start with, with match it, start with beat it. If they match it, that's fine. You know what I mean? But start with beat it. And then, I mean, settle for match it. If these suppliers have more than one product that you need. Otherwise, why not go to the one, you know, one the, the other supplier that has a better price? You know, why why settle with this guy when they're only going to match that price? Why not just go with the first one? You know what I mean? But be like, I'm not going to settle if you're only going to match it. You know, I want you to beat it. Unless if you're getting more than one product from the same supplier, then if they match it, that's okay. That way you're only ordering from one place instead of two or three different places, you know. So those tips are very important for you guys to finding profitable products for wholesaling on Amazon in 2018, guys. Be sure that you guys stay tuned. Also, I want to share with you guys the website that I actually uh, came across. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, jump onto my computer screen here. So this is literally a website that I came across not too long ago that has, I mean, if you look at this, so with over 5,000 dependent supplier listings. Um, so this website, it's called getthatwholesale.com. Um, it has a bunch of, I don't know, it has like, I think a couple hundred categories or something like that. I was watching a video about it actually earlier. And honestly, that's kind of how I came across it. I just thought that I would share with you guys. So, um, you know, it's got hundreds of, of, uh, of uh, categories. I'm getting my face out of the way here. Uh oh. Let's do that. So if you actually come right over here, do you see how there's actually a bunch of different categories? So there is the marketplace, you know, there is um, hottest products, and then there is just all categories. So if you guys check all this out, I mean, anything that you click on, it's going to, so like toys and games, right? And then it's going to go in and see it says um, a, a plus rated by BBB. Um, so it'll show you all the uh, suppliers and then literally all you got to do is see, you know, five star, five star, five star. So all you got to do is pretty much, you know, uh, select whatever product you want and then whatever supplier you want and just pretty much contact them. So the website is called getthatwholesale.com. It looks like it's an incredible website, 5,000 uh, independent listed uh, suppliers listed. So 5,000 different uh, suppliers they have on here. Uh, so check it out. Once again, guys, Bashar, get to hear Amazon and be a seller mentor. Um, thank you very much for being part of this amazing community. If you guys haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Smash the thumbs up button if you guys like this video. Also, let me know what you thought. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. First link in the description is going to be to my mentoring program where I actually have a, uh, a course about uh, private labeling Amazon MBA. Uh, literally the best uh, course out there in 2018. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, also, I have a mentorship program that doesn't come with a course. It's just mentorship where I actually become your mentor, answer your questions, analyze your products. I give you myself a number pretty much 27, 24-7 uh, support. 
um, that I offer to you guys. But aside from that, guys, be sure I get to hear Amazon and be a seller mentor. Tomorrow, I'll actually be showing some more uh, methods of how to find products for um, wholesaling in 2018. So guys, Bashar Ketu, thank you very much for being part of this amazing channel. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.